What's up, people? I'm Coach Chris at thecoachchris.com. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about brand awareness campaigns. Now, I see a lot of people trying to build brand awareness. They're trying to get attention, which makes sense. That's what you should want to do because attention is literally currency today. If you have attention, you can get paid to promoting clubs. You can sell t-shirts. Like You can do pretty much anything you want to if you have enough attention. And it doesn't matter who you are. We've seen people who are stupid, who are not stupid. Um, we've seen people who just, because they look different, they get a lot of attention and then they go viral, right? So, I mean, attention is everything right now. So brand awareness, getting attention on your brand is very important. But the strategy in which you do that is also very, very important. Because this is the thing. Most people want brand awareness and attention because that means that their brand gets seen, they get talked about. But what's more important is why your brand is being talked about. Just getting attention for the sake of having attention is not enough, right? Like if you have people talking about you all the time, that sounds like it's a good thing, but that attention will be fleeting if you don't know what you're doing. Right. If you if you have a company that sells mattresses, but people are talking about your company because of something crazy. All press is good press used to be a good thing. But I mean, now it's so easy. You can get so much more attention that it's not really the same thing. Right. Getting a ton of attention now is can be way more impactful. But now it's much harder to really filter out where you want to get attention and how. So. One of the things that is very, very important for your brand is to educate. Every brand awareness campaign should be about educating your customers, your clients, prospects, everybody, right? Even if you sell mattresses, you want to educate people on why mattresses are important. You could talk about how much people sleep throughout their lifetime, right? Like that's a great ad right there. Like, did you know that you spent X amount of hours sleeping in, in the average lifespan? So if you're going to sleep that long, shouldn't you have an amazing mattress? Boom, check out our mattresses. Like that's what you can do when you educate your audience, right? And what's even better though is when you can educate your audience without making it about your brand. That's when people know that you know what you're talking about and you get genuine connections, right? Instead of saying, hey, I have the best mattresses. You should buy this because you need to sleep all the time. Like, mm, that's not really powerful. But if your first ad is something educational, like, look, man, you have to sleep this much in your in the average lifespan. If you're at age, like, let's say you target a specific age group. Let's say you only sell mattresses to like, I don't know, to college students or whatever. I don't know, just something like that. But then you would talk to people who are between ages 18 and like 25. So then you would say by the age of 21, you've slept the amount of, on average, the amount of X amount of hours or days or weeks or whatever, right? Then that gets people in a mindset of, huh, I do sleep a lot. I have to sleep a lot. Oh, that's great. Now, that's the first ad. That's the first ad. And this is the thing. Most people, most businesses don't have enough attention to go add and sell. No, brand awareness should be just that, brand awareness. So when you're creating brand awareness, think about it as I want to educate people as much as possible, share as much valuable information as I can. And that's it. That's it. Nothing else. Because... If you share that valuable information, you'll become known for that information. People begin to trust you because they see that you're the person that has the answers, right? For me, this worked with podcasting, right? When I was having my podcast and I talked about it on Facebook every other day, I went live all the time. I had a Facebook group for it. Like I became the go-to guy for podcasting because that was all I talked about. I answered questions about it. I had free trainings on it, courses, coaching programs, all of it, right? That led to me getting speaking gigs about it. But at the same time, I built trust with my prospects. So much so that some people may not even want to start a show immediately, but then they reach back out to me a month, two months later, like, yo, I want to start this show now. Let's work. Right. That's and, and that's how it works when you educate people without rushing the sale. Educate. Brand awareness is about educating showing them why they need this or why it's important. And again, you want to do this with your brand as far away as possible. A simple logo on a video is enough. That's the perfect place to start because then your brand becomes associated in their brain as the one with the answers. That's the best way to start, right? Like that's the best way. After that, after they become, they begin to know you, after they see you as the expert, that's when you can sell. Right. So really, brand awareness is about patience, too, man. Patience. If you want to get discovered, you want to be seen, you got to be patient. And I'll talk a little more about patience later this week. But if you're not patient, you cannot expect your business to thrive. 
You cannot expect it because brand awareness is one of those things that it takes time. You know, just because you posted something on Monday doesn't mean you're going to go viral by Wednesday. Right. And just because you did get a ton of likes on something, it doesn't mean those likes will convert to customers. Like It just doesn't work that way. You know, so you have to be patient with this process of getting your brand attention, really building that brand awareness. Now, have you run some brand awareness campaigns? Have you tried brand awareness ads on Facebook? Let me know in the comments below. I really want to hear what you've tried so far. Let's really dissect what a brand is brand awareness campaign is to you. I'm Coach Chris, the CoachChris.com, and I'll see you in the next video.